So this didn't work. I shook the can, it was up to temperature, I'm in a covered area, the nozzle just started clogging. Yeah, I bought that on Amazon. It was only five bucks, but here's the thing. I've never had a bad can of paint in my whole life. I've spray painted a number of different projects over the years. rust normally works properly. It didn't. It was only five dollars. I went on the Amazon. They won't let me return it because it's a hazardous material. Uh, that's kind of bullshit. They won't give me my money back. I'm over it. It was only five bucks. So you're gonna see in the next segment. Um, Meg and I went to Fred Meyer's and got some regular acrylic or enamel, excuse me, and a sponge brush uh, so I can just hand paint the rig without spray paint. So less solvents and we'll make it work. This is a e-waste canister now that I have to deal with. Thanks. I'm going to hand paint this now using this little can of 8 ounce of black paint that I got at Fred Meyer's earlier today. Here we're going to use a blade type screwdriver to open the lid. I'm going to use the lid with a little foam brush like this to sponge paint it. And this is going to be a very high speed time lapse. In reality this took about 40 minutes but I've compressed it down into just two and a half minutes of ultra high speed time lapse, including a wonderful little hair dryer segment at the end as I help to dry paint since the garage is not exactly warm as it's winter time and the ambient temperature in there is much closer to 60 Fahrenheit. Not exactly the best for drying paint. So the idea here is we're not going to paint the bottom of the rig, just every other surface. And the idea with the black paint is so that it minimizes light reflection from the screen. I often leave my screen on because Honey Miner is kind of flaky and I like to see what the yield is and if the process is frozen. And I go ahead and throw a pillowcase over my screen at night. It's translucent so I can still see the progress but it blocks out the majority of the light. I also turn the brightness of the screen all the way down. I turn the blue blocker function on. I use the Windows night mode to yellow up the screen and orange it out. This additional layer of black is mostly an optical deal where it's designed to prevent the reflection of light from the screen since the screen's gonna sit on top of the rig. This is just to really is more cosmetic. This isn't a functional coating. The rig would have been just fine in raw metal or whatever primer they painted it with. Um, this is just, I like black and my other rig was black. So, you know, using about six bucks worth of materials here, we're gonna make it black. This is just pass one. Uh, sadly, to get a nice even coat, I'm going to have to do an entire second pass. Here, we're gonna use an 1875 watt hair dryer to um, help assist the drying process. I go over it for a few minutes here. Real thorough, I took the shield off the front and the back of the dryer so that we get the most direct heat possible. 